has been forwarded to an automated voice messaging system. I guess she doesn't want to answer. Five, one. But it's a field title, so he was close but hey the working words podcast has been released head on over wherever you listen to podcast and check it out there he is what's up hey are you, are you close uh it says um uh 16 16 minutes away oh okay if you go to that farm professor's gonna be there or you can come to my shed and I'm unloading feet at my shed in 15 minutes. Okay, yeah, I'll be, be there in about 15 minutes. And you also set the tone, right? So you set This up. It's a, it's a, it's a, now it's getting hard done, do you? It's a tough one to get. Need a little more weight standing on it? Yeah. There we go. Some Casey Donuts, boy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I, if you don't know who this is, this is Grant. Goes by yes. the squad. Uh, we're down here with his brother Spence, too. Spence TV, right? That's right. Yes. Yes. Uh, these are the guys that found the cheat code for Farm Sim on how to actually farm in real life. Technically, yeah. Technically, yeah. So, they've got a really cool story, making a go of it, first generation farmer. Uh, we're gonna be down here today. Actually, last year we were gonna try and do a little bit of tiling together. Didn't really work out, but we're gonna see if uh, it's possible to get it done this fall. And Grant, you're thinking that there's something out there maybe already? This, this is a 23 acre piece right here. Everything else performed pretty good. This is 107 acres. The 23 acre piece through here, I'll show you on my iPad, but there's a line, like half of it is 220 yield last year, and then half of it's like 140. And there's just a red line on the yield map and stuff. I, it's the same soils, but uh, some neighbors told me that it might be some kind of, as you get closer to the creek, there's some silty soil that just drains better. Mm -hmm. And that could be it. But there's also eight inch tile drain, a ton of water out there. So I gotta think it's coming out of here somewhere. We're gonna do a little bit of, uh figuring here there's actually a plan designed for this last year for half of it right yep yeah yep with so, Ryan, Ryan's right name. yeah with ryan soil max yoda i don't know if he likes me to call him soil max yoda, soil max yoda. Call that's a good nickname it, like it is because he is the know-all half of it was designed i don't know which half of it it's the first time i've been it, down here be this, it's a, half, this right. half so maybe investigate see if anything actually needs to happen on the other end because uh, if you're going to do it, it'd be easiest to do it all at one chunk if yeah. it needed done. We're going to go see if we can find some water. Oh, there's something, there's something wet in there. It's a wet sock in my boot. Oh, that sucks. That's still wet from the last time. It's really pretty cool if you actually check out on their channel. Uh, Grant and Spence are trying to clean up this farm right here, They're taking out some trees. Uh, really just trying to improve it. Does he not like turning the other way? <laughs> that's the way he turns. He got joysticks for farm sim. Oh, okay. So he, uh, he, that's how he turns in uh, farm sim too. Or he's learning that. Because he ran uh, cat controls. He runs cat controls now, and he's used to running the backhoe controls. I I don't know which ones I run. Mm. Uh, apparently, I don't run John Deere. You don't. So John Deere is the backhoe controls, I think. Is uh, how it I is. don't know. I, I run. I think technically I run high stuff, but I don't know that. I might need to go faster. He's gonna go. <laughs> Oh, 
because you get stuck if you go slow. <laughs> going, going, so it's gonna be like right about, right about here. Uh, more mushroom hunting. Uh, every now and then. It's always run a lot of water. Yeah, that's a, that's some serious that's water. That's eight inch, right? You think? Yeah, that's eight. What Grant's got here is an outlet doing something from somewhere unknown. It's the 23 acre piece right here. We're on. That's so where are we standing right now? We're standing where right, the pin is. right where the pin is in the back left corner, southwest corner. And there's just a line of good yep. corn to bad corn. What I'd do is I'd scratch right here. Scratch right here. And I'll, I'll go grab my tile probe. see any changes in the dirt so like if there was a trench and it was backfilled you'd almost see like a like it'd have like lines of dirt that fell down in mm -hmm. you don't see that so then when you probe and I'm not probing too deep because I'm not gonna work that and then you can just take another scoop out but I probe like every six inches or so Take another scoop out of the Okay. If it's eight inch, there's no way I'd get lucky and split it in between. You're in that? No, I'm just saying yeah. there's no way. To... Oh, I see what you mean. I thought you meant garbage. Yeah. Like you just yeah, okay. Since we've been filming you for like 10 minutes poking holes, reenact it. Go. Oh, no. No, you missed it. Missed what? It. No, it probably went off to the side. Do it again. Okay. Damn. Here we go. Oh my God! Really? Oh. Really? You want to uncover this? Yeah. Yeah. What happens if it's a box of gold? Is like, the, <laughs> like twenty percent or something like that? Twenty percent for you guys, eighty percent for me. <laughs> Here, hold that. <laughs> There's no way I can damage it by with the shovel or mm, no. Well, yeah, but it sounds like it's clay. Yeah. Matter you found a rock. But see, so like back home, like we have about that much topsoil except for over at the bottom of the hill. So if you dig down this deep, the dirt turns to like kind of that right there. Yeah. So you can see that kind of like smeared kind of up the wall. Yep. So you can tell where somebody had dug previously. There's no way I'm going to bust this thing. Is this considered Bitcoin mining? <laughs> I call it that. Oh, you're just you're right there. Like your shovel. Yeah. But that's somewhat what it would look like. You can tell yeah. that it was disturbed differently than uh, the rest of the dirt. That's pretty cool. Yeah. So see, if you dig, if you dig back here just a little bit, yeah. there's a slit in that tile right there. So Grant found it, old clay tile. That's why it's actually called tile. 
Now it's a plastic tube, but this is old school technology. People used to lay that by hand or like Steve in some of our old trencher videos, you actually used to be able to trench it and it'd slide down kind of a ramp and place them down in the ground. But it was sections of tile. You gotta figure out where it goes in the field. So Grant and Smith, they've got a, we, a janky way of marking their uh, clay tile so that they can come back and find it here a little bit later. But kind of my guess is, is that there's probably just, well, there goes, comes about like 15 deer across the field right over there. They probably ran some runs up through some of the nasty wet spots on this farm. And uh, it's not patterned. I might not have got it on camera, but we found this tile all the way down there. So Grant, why don't you tell my channel here, like kind of what, that they don't know your story here. So when did you start actually farming? How did you get into it? So I started, uh, last year was my first crop year. And uh, I was just mainly looking to buy kind of some of the cheapest ground I could find. Um, and so I started farming an hour away from home. I still live in home, so in central Iowa. This is more right on the border of central Iowa and southeast Iowa, I would say. Um, and so I bought a couple different farms and I only farmed 200, 235 acres, but uh, just getting started here and, you know, kind of learning because I haven't had any experience actually farming. Um, my my grandparents grew up in uh, Northern Iowa and I was around their farm a bit, but that's the only experience I have. So I don't have any experience in de decision making or anything like that. So I use Ben for kind of my, some of my guidance and stuff. You can definitely tell that this is different dirt up here. Yes, yes. This is uh, Ladoga, Ladoga soil. Ladoga. This is this is really good dirt. This is this is good dirt. This this is the best performing dirt. Did 280 across here, but this, it was doing 280, like pretty much. But all this of it. isn't near as dark as that no, over there. No, nope, nope. Because that stuff just does not drain. Yeah. And that's what I looked at this. I was like, God, this isn't going to produce good. It's going to be a dry year yeah. and stuff. And this was my best piece right here. This was such good dirt. Okay. It did so good. So that's something else I'm learning is like, what parts of the farm are going to do good? What parts are going to do horrible? So I'm actually going to get out of Grant and Spence's hair here. But before we do, I know you guys like equipment tours. He's got some pretty nice equipment. Some of it might look somewhat familiar to my channel here. Uh, but you've built quite a bit so far. You want to tell us, I guess, about your building first? Yeah, so we came in here and, well, first of all, so I bought this ground, or most of these farms like a year ago, and so I, they didn't have any buildings. I asked around, like, does anybody have any buildings for rent or anything? I couldn't find anybody, so I, then I just started pricing out buildings, of course, at the, the peak, you know, time of uh, building prices. And so we put up a 60 by 120. I was going to go half cement with it in the front and then gravel. I just decided to go just full cement. It's a lot nicer. It was expensive, but... It's super nice. So it's cold storage, doesn't have any heat, but it's like pretty much everything we need. I put a couple touches, like I probably didn't need this concrete pad out front. Oh, but I bet that's really nice. That's super nice when it's hot and you're working on equipment. And you've got electrical and uh, water. Uh, electrical, water, it's super nice. And then it's 60, uh, or it's 16 foot tall, 16 foot side walls. Piss on one of my tires, Bandit. He's gonna go, yep. So I was gonna put a living quarters in here cause I'm an hour away. Um, but instead I just got a camper just so you can have the camper. And eventually I want to farm kind of close back home. Um, so I know eventually at some point I may sell these farms, I may sell this setup. And that's kind of my thought process here. 1760, 12 row. I'm definitely over equipped for how many acres I farm by all means, uh, but 1760, 12 row. It does take me a while to plant still, even with the 12 oh, row. Yeah. Like this 80 took me 14 hours or something like that. Like it took a while, but uh, this is cousin to Ben. Um, the 8110 or Cousins of Ben's tractor, 8110. I bought it in Indiana, um, really nice gentleman. They put this on their planter and then they had a 8300 also that they farmed with for grain cart. But all this was, was a planter tractor. Um, they were second owner to it. And then uh, let's see, I put all new rubber on it. It's got 5,000 hours on it. So, and these, God, I love this 10 series. Mm. It would be super nice to have like an 8410 to pair this up to, but, uh, Gosh, they're because the thing is, you can do a anything with them. I mean, they're just an all around great, versatile tractor. The one thing that's not in the shed is the skid steer and uh, yeah. the backhoe. You guys saw that a little bit ago. Uh, I don't have semis, so we run wagons for now, which worked out good. You just you put one in the field, 
unloaded into the combine, and then the other ones in the tractor that's run to the elevator. Uh, the only thing is, like a lot of guys when they pull them, they'll pull them with two, like mm -hmm. in central northern Iowa. This, I can't usually pull two unless it's this farm. This farm worked good. We'll call them 606C. Uh, this was super nice to have. You can adjust the deck plates, everything like that. Didn't have any issues with it, but I just bought it this fall and I haven't gone through it yet. I think there's kind of a row issue on the far outside row on that that we gotta take a look at. Oh, I got a, a, six, a 25 foot bead head. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it's just, it's a small little bean head. Kind of nice. So I actually bought this off of, uh, it's Herb, I have a video about it, but Herb's a super nice guy. He retired actually. Uh, he farmed 400 acres with it and it was in just awesome condition and stuff. He, so he actually, so I didn't get it serviced or checked over this year coming into mine because he actually got hit with the deratio in 2020 and he only harvested 80 acres of beans with it. And so, so then it was pretty much ready to go for this season already. So, and I hear a lot of people really like the 60 series because you guys have a... We got a 60 and a 70. You got 60 and 70. We got a, well, my dad has a 9660 and a 9670. Okay. So. Do, what do you like better, 60 or 70? 70. 70. I know, uh, I was watching Manfredly Farms and they just are crazy about the 70 series. Like, they take it over like a newer combine even. I would, I would guess it'll probably there'd be a lot of people that would say that. Really? Yep. So the big difference I noticed in between the 60s and the 70 series is the discharge beater, lever, engager deal thing. You can back into corn stalks and stuff. I accidentally disengage that and if you do that, it will uh, flip out and you'll plug your combine. But anyways. Grant's got some really good channels. Grant Helbert on YouTube. Uh, the Squad. The Squad. The Squad, and then Spence TV, which is also Spencer's channel. Spencer's channel, yeah. which is also Farm Sim, but the RL farming, it's pretty good stuff. Go check it out. Yeah. He's learning as he goes and does a good job documenting it. So I can't say I'm going to give tips out, but <laughs> I can show you what like a <laughs> idiot farmer getting started looks like on YouTube. So yeah. <laughs> If you want tips, go to Ben's channel. So. And I'd take it to someone else's channel. <laughs> See you next time. Miss that. So I don't play farm sim. Did, yeah. did, like when you farm sim, like harvest the field, does it give you a yield? On some mod. On a mod you can add into the game. It will give you a yield. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. So I, I didn't know if like if you actually did a good job growing it in farm no. sim. Like you, it just just no, no. It just like oh, you just harvested the field. Okay, I got yeah. you. You put a crop and you put a little bit about a little bit of nitrogen. It'll grow four in bushel corn on farm sim. <laughs> that's how it works. So <laughs> well, that's how it works here too. Right? <laughs> yeah, yeah.